I ain't even gonna lie. If I see anybody standing outside and if they look like a bad boy, I'm calling the police, man. Cause anybody like Diddy that think like Diddy or even look like Diddy need to be in jail. Oh I thought all Kelly was bad, but Diddy is about 10, eight times, nine times worse than all Kelly ever was. He had Cassie having sex with demons. Oh her soul ties is all messed up. How does she even sleep at night, man? How she gonna look her kids in their eyes and tell them what mommy was doing for Diddy back when she was younger? He ruined this young lady. And people thought she was capping when she made the allegations about Diddy paying male strippers. Come to find out, you got male strippers in the interrogation room telling they side of the story. And it's way worse than Cassie could have ever did. And on top of that, what he's saying, he said this about five, six years ago, and they still ain't go after Diddy. Thank God for Cassie. She exposing the music industry. Secret societies ain't even a secret no more. You got people like Russell Simmons moving to Cuba. They scared the building is on fire and Cassie the one lit the match. Forget the Carrie movie. They need to remake it and call it the Cassie movie. Because she out here setting fires, man. Y'all need to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'm so fired up right now because I had faith in Diddy. Y'all seen the videos. I was vouching for this man in the whole nine. Come to find out, he really freaky and sadistic like Cassie said he was, man. And it's hard for me to admit. But Mr. Freak Nasty himself came out with his own allegations and we are about to get into that man but before we do that i need y'all to do me a favor man hit them like buttons and for all the people that's leaving comments i got so much love for y'all man we got kevin mccree 12 boss cat one ronald monroe grace in the building as well what it do sb do that stand for sean blaze i see some swagger jacking going on tonight pretty for your thoughts dawn a williams sandy candy and Pete and Joshua Atkins, man. Y'all the realest of the realest. And we got a new member. Squifty Panda is in the choir, man. Singing loud, letting y'all know that he here. So much love for you and welcome to the channel, man. We really appreciate you for being here and all that. But we got to get back into this news. Because Cassie is way more important than any of them other R. Kelly survivors. She actually was on the radio. People know who she is. She been on red carpets, been to plenty of events. You may not know her for her music, but you know who Cassie is. All them all Kelly survivors, you don't know who the hell they was, man. You don't know them from nowhere, but surviving all Kelly. Cassie don't put a dent, not only in the music industry, but they gonna have to rewrite the sexual harassment laws. Oh if you get Two seconds of a glance of a butt cheek, your ass need to be behind bars. That's Negro here no there. Y'all need to listen at this real quick, man. Yo, Reg, go ahead and set that thing up, yo. Okay, here we go. Do you know Sean Combs? Pop Daddy. Yeah. P Diddy, whatever you call himself. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the Boule. The, the Boule. The Boule is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. It's the black people. I had settlement with Sean, okay? And he belongs to that agenda. That's why he's so famous. They land all the contracts. It's his attorneys, which are Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard a lot of business because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the on the phone and on the TV with speaker and stuff and I'll be in the I was like a sex slave, okay? For them that's what I was. That's all. Alright? Um I Yo, you would have thought he was crazy, insane, out of his mind if Cassie never said what she said in them lawsuits, man. But then again to play the devil's advocate, what if they put Cassie on to this man's mixtape. Oh my goodness. And she went off of <laughs> what this crazy man was saying. Bless me, man. What if they got in Cassie's ear and let her know about these crazy wacko allegations from this man and put it in her lawsuit? 
And they probably had this in the chamber just in case Diddy ain't settled that lawsuit. But since he settled it, they like, whatever, we just going to toss it out there anyway. Because this guy, he ain't even got no sex appeal like that. Talking about Diddy pay him to do the booty with Cassie. He going bald, he fat, he funky. You already know he stank. He in the hospital slash the jail. Who going to give him a bag for some ass? Now, I ain't saying he lying. But he don't sound like he telling the truth, neither. Hold on. Look at this, y'all. Oh, God damn. Look at this. Yo, play it, man. What's wrong with it? P. Diddy, whatever you call himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the boule. The, the boule is, the boule is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. And it's the black people. I had settlement with Sean, okay? And he belongs to that agenda. That's why he's so famous they land all the contracts it's his attorneys which are mark garagos and ben mercedes i had sex with cassie and sean basically he would uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with cassie i had like man this man could barely even talk y'all let's be real yo he, he can't even talk how did diddy have a conversation with this man about having sex with cassie and he can't even speak a proper sentence man but then again, that's probably why he was a sex slave. Because his education is low. All he knows is that Puffy is a part of the boule, the Illuminati for black people. Oh my goodness. That might be Cassie's cousin or something for all we know, man. Look, them phone lines open. Y'all gonna have to call in and let me know what y'all think about this, man. Because right now the streets is talking and they saying that Diddy is worse than R. Kelly. And I would have never thought that was ever possible. But if these things are true and people thought. But them gruesome details make everything worse. If we didn't have the details, it wouldn't be that bad. You can only imagine what these celebrities do behind closed doors. But we live in an information age. And exposing people is the new currency. And that's why everybody is running scared. People can get paid millions of dollars just by going into details about your sex life. Can you imagine if somebody got on the stand and talked about how you like to have one leg up while you smacking the right ass cheek? That would be embarrassing, man. But if it was me, y'all just gonna have to put my business out there in the street. Plus, I'm a regular missionary type of dude anyway, so I ain't got nothing to worry about. But Diddy, on the other hand, be all over the place with his. He on the cell phone, chopping it up with Jay-Z, whacking off while Cassie getting banged by some dude that's a serial killer. He got swastikas and shit tattooed on his ass and Diddy don't even give a damn. He busts all over Cassie. She's screaming and crying. Diddy laughing. That ain't even cool. He's a sick perverted deviant if these allegations are true and like i said just because homie said this in 2017 don't mean that he wasn't talking out his ass and them people that was trying to get a bag out of diddy and i'm still trying to take up for this man and the reason why is because i don't want to see him go out like this they use everything they could find to throw at this man somebody in the comments said they need to leave Diddy alone. This shit getting out of hand. It's crazy how the public can team together and fuck your whole life up. Thank you, whoever said that, because that's how I be feeling too. And plus, if it's coming from Tasha K, the messiest chick in YouTube history, is she sitting down with Gene Deal? Man, I can't trust. She probably did a voiceover, and he probably ain't say none of that shit that they said that he's saying, man. Hold on, we got a phone call, yeah. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, yo, man. If you want Diddy side or not, man? I, I, I like what you doing, bro. One day you cool, one and one day you not, bro. I'm conflicted because I want Diddy to be innocent, but it's looking like he's really not. Right, right. Because you hear you hear different news from every day. And you can't trust these sources, man. You, you got Tasha K making waves again. Ain't no telling what she'll do for a dollar, especially when she in the hole for like four million dollars. Oh 
Right. Hey yo, you think that um you think that's gonna go through with hun um Cardi B? Man, it seemed like I can't even understand what you're saying because you got that on in the background. I'm hearing myself twice. <laughs> Four, five times, man. You listening to me. I'm listening to you. We listening to us. Hey, yo, have a good day, brother. God no bless, doubt. man. You be good, bro. They would rather Ooh. get off the phone instead of cut that shit off, man. It's like they want to see themselves on TV or something. It just don't make... I ain't even got no camera set up, man. But it is what it is. Like I was saying, man. When the last time you trusted Tasha K's sources... That shit about R. Kelly was nothing but facts. She had the people at the police station giving her information. Talking about they with the wino game. Now you got this guy with his shit. I need to watch this again and make sure it wasn't no voiceover or nothing like that. Hold on, yeah. Yo, get it together. Okay, go ahead, please. Pop Daddy. Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever you call himself. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the boule. The boule the the is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. It's the black people. I had settlement with Sean, okay? And he belongs to that agenda. That's why he's so famous. They land all the contracts. It's his attorneys, which are Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard a lot of business because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the on the phone and on the TV with people and stuff and I'll be in the I was like a sex slave, okay? For them that's what I was. That's all. Alright? Um I caught herpes and I came back and I sued him for the herpes and won. But they didn't did Mark Eros and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys, okay? And Christopher Leon here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that which was the video recording, and I did so. They gave it back to me accidentally, and it's possible, I, I threw everything out, it's possible I can produce a copy. It's Mark Garagos, you should be Michael Jackson attorney. Yeah, out in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. he had a, yeah, he dropped Michael and they all deed him, okay? He had, you know. Hold on, man, this shit, it's just too much, man. Wait a minute, slow it down. I gotta breathe. He said Cassie hit him with them herpes. And Michael Jackson's lawyer got hired by Diddy because he that much of a freak. Like Cochran dead, I need the, the nigga that got Michael off. Cause this shit is getting crazy. His male sex worker. He already can't talk. Now he really slurring cause them slurpees done took over his mouth, man. And instead of paying that man and get him some medical treatment, did he hire Michael Jackson lawyer to get rid of the case, man? Hold up. Y'all need to film me on this, man. Because um, I'm starting to connect some dots. Now, Usher had them herpes real bad, All allegedly. And he had to go to court because people were suing his ass for spreading them shits. What if he got it from Diddy and Cassie? Cause they got a long history together. I did a video last night about Usher and it was, it was devastating, man. Y'all don't even know half of the stuff that Usher been through just by dealing with Diddy, man. And he had him at a young age and y'all need to see the video, man. I posted it last night. Usher finally exposed Diddy. The information that you will find out right here will blow your mind. It went up 19 hours ago. It's already going viral. People can't believe that Usher and Emmanuel Lewis is possibly the same person, man. Oh now, I know that sounds ridiculous, but once you see the video, you will understand clearly. But with all that being said, all these allegations being made, we still ain't heard nothing from Diddy. And at this point in time, people can care less what he got to say about any of this. But his sex slave is wounded by them herpes, man.
and he in jail in a hospital gown. That's how bad that shit is, man. He can't even go back to the cell. The bars got herpes on them. Matter of fact, let's just get into it, man. I know what y'all want to see. Y'all came here for the zesty. I'm about to give y'all all the zest. Go on, play that, bro. Man, it's been one of them motherfucking nights. Well, I should have took some pictures before. Nice to have us the end of the night, and it was a motherfucker. So we, go, we coming to you live. Um, Diddy late nights. Um, anything can happen. I'm just vibing. It's so why? So why? You gotta keep, you gotta keep the air. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to wear this here in Toronto in the morning. Hey, yo, let me ask you a question. When I get to... And that motherfucker floating like a motherfucking cloud. Like you had clouds on your motherfucking shoes. You know what I'm saying? And that motherfucker moving around. Hey, yo, you said Febreze, nigga? You was floating like a motherfucker Febreze, my nigga. You was moving like... What, nigga, with, with a scent. You had a... Nigga, it's just late night. He on the FaceTime with another one of his sex slaves. And Cassie in there trembling because he might come over there. Every time she hear the doorbell ring, she get up and hop in the shower because she know what time it is, man. He said Diddy was floating like a cloud. He was so damn zesty. He looked like he was fresh out of a Febreze can the way he was just floating with his hair blowing in the wind, man. Homie had to call him and give him his props after the party. Like I seen you in there with them heels on, daddy. The way you was sashaying and moving around. It looked like a cloud was up in that motherfucker, man. He ain't never seen somebody with so much elegance and grace as Diddy. Now you know you zesty. When people get home, take a shit and forget to wipe their ass because they got to call you and let you know that your zest was popping, daddy. Now you got his sex slave, Mr. Freak Nasty, all up in jail. Herpes, booty bleeding, he doing bad. Spilling all the information about Diddy and Cassie. And about four years later, Cassie came out and said the same shit. And they was trying to call him crazy. They sent him back to his cell like this dude is out of his mind. He don't know what he talking about. Come to find out, he was spitting nothing but facts. What y'all got to say about that, man? Is Diddy worse than all Kelly? Or do y'all feel like R. Kelly is still the king of perversions? Oh if Quincy Jones get up on the stand and they pull down his pants and see the Biggie and Tupac tattoos and shit, they gonna throw him straight up in jail. Oh I would have never thought I would have ever seen the day that Diddy go down for some shit like this. His sexuality. After all of the niggas he don't had killed. I'm talking about the whole bad boy dead. Biggie, Tupac, Wolf. um, All of them. He ain't get persecuted for not one Negro that went missing or got deceased. They was rewarding him for taking out Pac and Biggie and all them people. They was waiting to see what rapper he was going to take out next. But his Wiener is what got him in trouble. Ain't that about a bitch? Because Cassie made some allegations. And you know what? I said a lot of things about Cassie and I want to take all that back because she was going through some stuff. She was with it. And the money was good and all that. But still. Matter of fact, I ain't even going to lie to y'all. I don't feel bad for her ass. Oh she probably had a good time. She was dead for 10 years. She looked happy every time I seen her Gucci, Louie, you name it. She kept her looking sharp. Ain't gotta pay for shit. What y'all think Cassie had to pay for? He probably made her pay for condoms and that's the reason why she wasn't using them shits. A damn freak busted baby, man. One of Diddy's on. 
and this is something I got to share with you brothers out there, man. Don't be dealing with no freak nasty bust down. Because it's going to end bad. Diddy thought it was going to end good. When you were the super freak of the week like that, it's going to be a disaster. She going to get you one way or another. And what do they do when they get the herpes? Do they just live with it? Do they deal with it? Do they just scratch it out? Like, Or do they got the money to afford to get rid of that type of stuff? And that's what I'm thinking, man. Because if Diddy living with all these diseases, he would have been dead in the 90s, man. And he been freaking off for a long time. So how is he even surviving? I think that when you in the certain tax bracket and you got all this money, you could pay for the cure, man. You can't tell me you can't. If, if Will Smith was really getting booty ping ponged by that dude, he would have somebody now. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Oh, well, shit. I'm on the show. Can you turn this shit down? No doubt, no yeah. doubt. Yo, who this be, man? The boy R E R. Yo, that's what it is, man. We talking about Diddy. It seemed like all the allegations that Cassie made was true. How you feel about this, bro? Uh, honestly, about Diddy, man. I've been hearing rumors about Diddy since I was like fourteen years old, man. Mm -hmm. Since like nineteen ninety eight, we've been hearing about Diddy murdering people. We've been hearing about all that gay shit he's been doing. Personally, oh, and let me just give a shout out to because I'm kind of excited. I'm on the show. I want to say what's up to everybody. No been listening to it for a minute too. Where that? Um, personally, with, with Diddy, um, I feel like they're attacking him right now. Honestly, man, because who the fuck is this guy? I've never heard of this dude ever in my life. And it was weeks, a week before the whole Cassidy incident. And then Cassidy, out of nowhere, we haven't heard from her in like four years. Out of nowhere, comes out claiming what we already heard like eight years ago that Diddy did to her in the first place. People already knew all this shit. That's the crazy part. People already knew all this. But we didn't have all the details the way that we have it now, man. It's very, very vividly painted with, you know, all the shit sound accurate. And this man, he was he in jail. He he doing bad. He's a criminal. Why would he be having him sleep with Cassie? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, and, and first of all, who the fuck is he? I never saw this bald headed, weird looking ass motherfucker in my life. He's a and sex slave. All, you don't see sex slaves, <laughs> man. They they stay on the low. <laughs> Yo, but still though. Ask yourself, why out of all the sex slaves that Diddy got, he's getting the boost right now online? Well, you never hear about this nigga like two days ago. Today, he got the boost. That's why they always happens. doing this with this cat, man? Like, we know about Diddy's past, man. We know about him. And if we're going to blame anybody, we need to let's go to Clyde Davis. For real, for real. You know, let's go to like. Let's take it all the way back. Because <laughs> honestly, man, it's just like, it's all a facade to try to make, just to try to put Diddy in the the uh, the, the, the front of the line. You know what? Of the niggas that need to be exposed. I and feel, it's always you. the black, and it's always the black man getting exposed first mm -hmm. when it's the black man just a part of that system that he never built in the first place. Mm. Diddy ain't, dude, he just jumped on board. He's like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to do what I got to do for the money and I'm going to make it look cool because niggas going to talk shit because we used to, like back in the 90s, like people cared about skills and and the love for the game and shit, man. Like when money really became the, the main focus, look at the shit we got now. It's trash, you know? And that's what he made popular, but niggas paid him to do that. You know, this is a long fucking line and all that shit, man. I'm like, think about like hip hop back in. I mean, it's like it. It can think about hip hop back in the '80s. It was a different thing. There was less money, but it was more of a message. Even the, the top niggas like Run DMC still have message songs that were like they most popular. Yo, I'm glad you said that, bro, because you just made a valid point. When Diddy gave right. Cassie that 30 mil, 
the following day. Mm. She filed a lawsuit on the Thursday and got paid on the Friday. That was the biggest mistake he ever made. You innocent until proven guilty. And by giving yep. her that money so fast, it made him instantly guilty. What that remind you of? That reminds me of the Michael Jackson case. He did the same thing oh with that with them kids. He gave the money to them to shut them up. But then that leaves you open to everybody thinking you did it. Yep. Exactly. Whether you didn't or not. Like, personally, I don't give a shit about Cassie or what Diddy. They was both grown. Cassie, even if she did do all that, she knew what she was doing. Because a lot of people don't like to talk about the fact she was with um, Ryan Leslie before Diddy. Yeah. She left Ryan Leslie in the prime of her relationship. While he was making an album with her ass mm -hmm. for Diddy. Yeah, and the that dude Ryan. For the fucking, yep. He a good producer, man. He could have had her with some smash singles if she would have just stuck it out with homie. Exactly. And he made his like his number one hit that he was supposed to give her. But she didn't take it because she left to go with Diddy to go be a rich Bye. billionaire. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> it's the it's saddest thing you know ever, man. And you know, she never gonna be held accountable for anything because first of all, Diddy is the male in the situation, and plus he's the millionaire. A black in the situation. male, yeah, first a, of all, a black male, and he got money, so she can do no wrong. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, you know what's gonna happen next? It's gonna be Jay Z. We're gonna hear about. They're gonna be like, oh, Jay Z, MK altered uh, Beyonce, and then he did all this and blah blah blah. And listen, before they do all that, before I get off the phone, I'm going to tell you this about Jay-Z. When I was like 18, right? This was like 2002. My mom had kicked me out the house. but before, So when I came back to the crib, I tried to get back in the crib, but she wasn't going to let me. So I wrote a suicide note, right, to get to her. I wasn't suicidal, though, but I left it on her car, right? Her ass sent me to the to the crazy house for a week, bro, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not a crazy person. That was just like 18 year old, like not trying to make money in the world, basically trying to still be a kid. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got in that situation. So I'm, so I'm inside of this place for a week and there's this, I, I've been wanting to tell somebody this story for a long time too. So I'm in there and I'm one of the few sane people in there. Right. Me, me and this white dude actually. We used to play ping pong and shit, but he was like another same person that was there by my, by accident. There was this black girl in there and she would go on and on about Jay-Z fucking with her. Like, oh my goodness. it was like Jay-Z had fucked with her mind so heavy that she was in this place. But she kept saying that like, yeah, like I used to fuck, like she's like, Jay-Z like, did this to me he put me in this house like inside of this place and i remember being there when i was eight because like jay-z was my favorite rapper and i was listening to this. i was like this bitch is crazy bro i'm in a house full of crazy ass people and she's talking about jay-z putting her in here fast forward all these years now bro to 2023 i'm like holy shit bro <laughs> them stories about all these about the people you don't know will never be told Man, that's, I heard some crazy stories thing. as well, man. And you be thinking these people insane. They look crazy. They talking crazy. It don't make no sense. But just like homie in jail talking about Cassie and Diddy, yep. come to find out it's pretty accurate. And it lines up to exactly what Cassie said happened. So the chick you was in the crazy house with, she probably was keeping it a buck. Exactly. She was going through the same shit Cassie was. But Cassie was at least like on a higher tier than... The bitches they just bringing in and tossing out and yep. really fucking up. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that's nothing but That's facts, why man. it's all injustice anyway, because, like, Cassie's still a millionaire. Like, fuck her. Like, what about the motherfuckers we don't know about? But then again, it's like if we're going to get at these men for doing that, then we need to get at the people that put them in them positions in the first place. And why is the situation like this? You hear about all these old celebrities doing this shit, man. Like, you could... Jimmy, have you ever heard of Jimmy Savile? No, bro. We, that's don't, a, we don't know who yeah. that is. <laughs> it goes deep, yo. So that's all I'm saying. That's all I wanted to get out with that shit, man. Like, yo. I ain't want to mean to take off the subject like that, but it goes deep.
Yo, and that's, that's what real, people need man. to understand. Yo, your conversation yeah. opened a lot of people's eyes because people be thinking people be crazy. But the truth is, right. they really don't be crazy, man. But we crazy about your conversation, man, because you kept it real. Appreciate a lot it. of people been entertained. And we want to thank you so much for calling. And don't be no stranger, man. Make sure you call back. Yeah, man, I've been meaning like to do no this shit for like three years. Dog shit. Yo, you Hell finally yeah, yeah. called, man. It's the perfect timing, that's man. Right. You called in on the right time, the right video. And we appreciate that, bro. And we going to holler at you later. tonight. Real talk man yo yes, enjoy sir. yourself brother no doubt be good man reggie get the keys bro it's time to get the fuck up out of here that nigga crazy where your keys yo man get the key it's almost time to go bro because i think he said something about the address and oh shit somebody ringing the doorbell oh, and they're crazy yo it's gonna be a short one tonight because matter of fact cut all the lights off man so stay tell a nigga we ain't here Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? What's good, brother? It's KV, man. What's good with you? No doubt, man. I'm over here confused as hell because I thought Cassie was lying. I'm like, she's making up stories on Diddy. Come to find out, Cassie was keeping it a bean. How you feel about all this, man? Yo, remember when I called them before? You called me the Diddyologist, mm -hmm. right? Remember, I told you, these people was tied up, man. Diddy had all these folks tied up. How many times we got to look at people die around him and then say alleged? Like how many bad boy artists, how many MCA execs got to be dead for everything around him to be alleged? You know what I'm saying? We've seen it too many times before. So it's like, I, right, so Kim Porter, Heavy D, Andre Harrell, Big E, Black Rob, Noon finds religion, Sean like it's too much going on when you look at this kind of nonsense. Man, it's too much. But like it, a person that's a good dude, nobody does like no things like this don't happen to a person that's a solid good person. Man. You don't have a bunch of artists and execs dying around you. You don't have people wanting to put out books and stuff like that about you and then end up getting swatted out and all that. Like, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It makes and you it's wonder. not nothing that they don't already know. Mm -hmm. That's a fact, man. And it make you wonder, who been holding the dogs this whole time? And who decided to let them dogs mm. go on Diddy? He been protected. It's been plenty mm. of times he was supposed to go down, but somebody was looking out for this man. And then mm. all of a sudden they let them dogs go. And he getting his ass toe up all on the media. And the reason That's why I think bad. they decided to let him get it is because he talking all this black power, black excellence, black righteous. He going on and on like he Dr. King. And they like, oh, you want to be Mr. Pro Black all of a sudden? Well, we going to show you how we do black folks. That's a fact, bro. He should have played. But you know what, though? This is what happens when you have handlers. They make you get tied in. Like I told people before, we don't realize back in like, 2016, all these dudes was, or 2020, everybody was rock the vote and go vote. What happened to Diddy and Jay-Z and Oprah and Beyonce and all of them this go round? Where they was all at? What happened? Like, somebody happened. Something happened. Somebody got some kind of something going on where everybody just disappeared. But hey, all I'm saying is it looked like everybody got a lot of explaining to do when it comes to this crazy stuff. Diddy ain't by himself. He not yeah. by himself. They just starting with him right now. He not by himself. There's a lot of explaining to do. And it's going to look like, right, because you're going to see on the internet, everybody, oh, they trying to bring down our black king, y'all. They trying. Nah, y'all don't know that these the dudes that have been tied in to the people that's been on top of you. And it looked like they kings because y'all worship these folks, but they've been inviting everybody to the party. No this doubt. is a fact. You got to be a puppet for the system and they was rocking the vote for years then obama got out of office whatever happened to rock the vote mm, mm, that's what i said everybody disappeared what happened what happened <sighs> everybody campaign just disappeared and now we hearing a whole bunch of other stuff about all of these celebrities but and you know they starting with diddy and we all going through gentrification not that long ago. You have you a nice little apartment, pay the bills, pay the rent, and have some money left in your pocket. We all getting extorted out here. So that don't leave the celebrities Ooh. off the hook. 
they going through, they Ooh. gentrifying Hollywood right now. And Diddy got to go. Ooh. Remember back when Diddy was having all them Hollywood parties, Leonardo DiCaprio, everybody want to party with Diddy? No, they gentrified mm-hmm. that shit. There ain't no more Diddy That's parties. A That's a fact. I'm look, look it's, you got to look at it like this, too. It's looking like all these dudes was front men. Because, look, the same thing happened with Hope. Let's keep it real. If you do the history to the Barclays family, they've been a racist family for hundreds of years. But he brought them right downtown on top of Brooklyn on the original people with all the original buildings down there. And they had to move out because these folks moved in. And they not even hiring niggas for crazy positions down there. You can't really be nothing more than the concession dude or something like that. So it's like, how many times we going to look at these dudes and platform and then see a move that they make that hurt the people, but still be like, oh, they get money, black excellence. Nah, dog. They tied into something that they got nothing, no control over. They chose a path and they made they made some decisions on, on the way they wanted their life to go. And in between that, they had everything cleaned up for them, just like kids. So they don't know how to operate for themselves. Yo. And this is a fact. I'm glad you said that, because imagine if it wasn't Jay-Z to bring in the ball clays. If it was somebody like Donald Trump, it would have been a lot of upset people of color. Like, how y'all going to boot us out for this and we been here? But since it was Jay-Z, people like, okay, he doing something. It's a black man, so we just going to pack up and move. Facts, facts. And because we can't get enough of that kind of situation, we never really going to be able to see who's really playing the game and who's not. But that analysis that you just made was perfect spot on. Because I never heard about Trump doing nothing like that. Hell no. You know, I heard some things, but not like that. And everybody clapped for Jay-Z when he made that move, except for the people that was going through the whole eminent domain situation and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So, and Diddy did the same thing with the Ciroc. I mean, yep. if you selling liquor, you selling liquor. And that yep. ain't never been no no plus for the community, man. But people rock with it, people. But I know I bought me plenty of bottles of Ciroc trying to be like Diddy, man. And was Indeed. it a small move? I figure I was giving my money. I'm supporting the black man. Come to find out he Bad. don't even own the damn company, yo. Bad. That's what I'm saying. These dudes is front men. We keep thinking, like, this is what happens when, yo, I remember back in the day, wasn't it, wasn't it, wasn't it Malcolm X that says something like, yo, you got to watch the people that, that they applaud. That's your people that they put in place that they call your leaders. Right. Yeah. Cause those people gave something to the system and gave you up or gave something up from your people, a certain kind of way in order to be with them people. So now it's looking like that's true. And come to find out, while Malcolm was saying that, the people he was working for was put in position by them people. And by the time That's he found fact. out, they all was. By the he t- knew. By the time he found out, it was too late and game over. Yup. Yep. The, the, at the time he found out was the very year of his death. That's a fact. That's a big fact. Just can't Super win, man. Fact, man. People be following. I mean, ain't no such thing as a, a black leader. And I don't think it ever was, man. They all been puppets since day one, since the plantation, man. But you know what's funny, though? A lot of people don't know because, you know, that's that's 100 percent real because you got people like J. Edgar Hoover and these people that always deemed to break up everything that was ever called black in the first place. Look at what happened. Look at what happened to the Panthers and look at what happened modern day to Black Lives Matter. Look at what happened. They took the money and they got government jobs and kept it moving. Boom. And it's over and over. That's because they own that word, man. So, like, we got to look at it from this standpoint. At what time did we even really begin to call ourselves that? You know what I'm saying? This is a place where we've been a whole lot of things. And back in the day, we used to say stuff like, especially if you were an 80s baby or a 70s baby, you always heard the 80s babies and the 70s babies say things like, oh, my grandmama was Cherokee or my grandfather was Apache or, you know what I'm saying, my my uncle was, um, you know, um, Anasazi or, or, or Arawak or Seminole or it always was something along those lines. It was never a color scheme. You know what I'm saying? And when it became this color scheme, that's the minute we got caught up in the game. And it's looking like that's how everybody's caught up in the game right now. 
And can it get any worse, man? I thought all oh, Kelly was as worse as it was going to get, man. I'm like, they got Kells out the game. Okay, we cool. But now it don't trickle down. I still can't believe it trickled down to Diddy, man. Whoa, I'm saying they saying a few people is worse than him. That's the word. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking that we got to sit back and watch because the way it looked like, it looks like it's just starting, man. It's look like we got a long ways to go. And it's looking like this ain't a movie. This is a series. So we we got to sit back, get a couple of things of popcorn, you know what I'm saying? Get the sandwiches and all that together for the whole week because it looked like every week is some new information coming out. Yo, so with that being said, is it safe to say that the entertainment business is targeting black entertainers, black male entertainers to be specific? Without a doubt. I mean, look, it's been that way from the beginning. That's the, that's always been the circus. Who have they always wanted to control? And But what would be the purpose of wanting to control us the way they want to? Like, they've always used these dudes as a guideline to, like I said, bring everybody else to the party. So they drawing out their energy and making everybody worship them. But what is it worth? Now we look at it and we see what's really going on. What is it worth? The funny thing, though, right? Didn't they mention inside of Cassie's situation, right? About her going all across the world with this dude and having multiple male prostitutes and all of that stuff in these hotels and shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, that qualifies as sex trafficking. And, and what I'm saying is, just like hustling on the block or just like playing basketball you mean to tell me one sex trafficker don't know another mm, it's a network and all that hmm. that's hmm. crazy man i just don't get it yo and your phone conversation is so deep brother you got people in the comment section crying they giving you rounds of applauses and all that man we appreciate it every time you call please, in because you keep love. it realer than realer man and that's why the next love. time i go live you got to make sure you call back man because you the realest we got so much love for you brother don't be no stranger we gonna holla at love, you on the man. next love. video real talk man love. you be good man worry that it be the main ones talking about diddy and all that stuff be the main brothers in the boule y'all think he know all that stuff he probably sitting right next to diddy right now with his hand on his lap he want to get into the black history the mystery system and break it all the way down while diddy over there waiting for him to get off the phone and ain't no telling what's gonna happen after that oh they be thinking i'll be stupid man i could read through these people that be calling up here working for the government and all that He's speaking on Malcolm X and the nation of Islam. He going on and on and on, trying to distract y'all from the fact that Cassie was getting it on with a big dude from the Middle East that could barely even speak English. This is my question. How was Cassie able to look Diddy in his eyes after all that banging? Oh my goodness. After throwing all her goodies. How was she able to sit next to that man, go places, go to a, get dressed and go to the red carpet? And he got her being a bus down for everybody. They said he show up to a whole nother city. When they get off the plane, the male strippers out there in zero degree weather with their shirts off, baby oil frozen to their nipples, waiting for Cassie. And they don't even want her like that. Diddy got to smack them on their ass just so they can get an erection. She ain't got no cheeks. She ain't got nothing but skin and bones. And they trying to break her down because Diddy got a bag of money while he got a handful of lotion making himself feel real good. I wonder if he talked to Cassie while he was doing that. And did she talk back to that motherfucker? Was she crying? Was she smiling? Was she laughing? Was she happy? Did she ask for more? Who in they right mind? But see, that's the crazy part about it, man. When people be getting trafficked, it would be a line of niggas outside the hotel room, man. People be going to the hotel like, damn, I can't get in my room because they waiting. It must be a drive-thru up there or something. 
your ass standing in line thinking you're going to get a free snack. Oh, my goodness. As soon as you get to the, the front of the line, all you see is Cassie. And Diddy sitting there like a damn fool with a towel wrapped around his face with extra napkins and some lotion in his hand, man. You got Kanye West sitting there butt naked with the mask on. Like you don't know that's Kanye West with the pot belly with Yeezy tattooed across his chest, man. Some sick. They nasty. Diddy a freak. And he probably get on the bed and start twerking right before they done. They be like, y'all smell that? They look over. Diddy over there. Who knows what he be doing, man? I'm disgusted. Cassie, how many baths did she have to take? What type of mouthwash did they prescribe her? Hurt be gone. She get to open in her mouth crying, Diddy, ah! He already know what's wrong. Like, oh shit, got them slurpees. She um, she got to go to counselor with NBA young boys so they could talk about their damn. And that ain't no laughing matter, man. People be catching shit. Wake up in the morning in pain, like, oh no. You look down in your pants, it look like an octopus down there. You got tentacles and shit wiggling in your drawers. You got to be more careful. And this man said he caught the herps messing with Cassie and Diddy. Give me the money, I'll bust her down, no problem. You give me, you pay me, I'll do it. I'll do your girl. You know, this nothing, but if I, I can handle it. Cassie, come on, let's go in the back room. Puff paying the money. Wanna get paid, mama? That's what you wanna do? Come on, let's just make this money, Cassie. Come on, let's make it. Don't make no baby. No, no baby. Want to make the money. Come on, Cassie. Let's do it. Said he got the money. We're going to do this. You know what I mean? They probably was in there faking it sometimes. While Diddy was listening. Like, ah, oh, Cassie. Yeah, okay. Oh, my. Ho, ho. They in there reading magazines and shit. Diddy in the other room. Going to town with that lotion. He got the herbal essence on deck. Jergens and the dollar cocoa butter in the big bottle. His skin smooth as hell down there. They say it's like silk, daddy. All that whacking. Old ass can't even participate. He roll in the bedroom in the wheelchair because he too lazy to walk up in there, bitch. I just don't get it. Y'all gonna have to pray for Cassie because I ain't know that it was this bad until Diddy's super freaky sex slave came out and confirmed everything that Cassie was talking about. It's a lot of weird shit going on out here. And if you're gonna be in a relationship with somebody, I recommend that you get with the most regular, degular, humblest person that you could ever come across, man. Because it'll make your life a whole lot more easier. When you involved with somebody that just want to sit their ass down and love you. Anything besides that. You're going to be in trouble, man. And Diddy should know better. And I blame Diddy for picking the type of women he been picking. You ain't never seen him with a wholesome chick. He always on the red carpet with a thought. Or somebody that everybody don't have. He wants somebody leftovers. He wanted the chick that been with this one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. That's why I respect them celebrities that come out with a chick that ain't nobody ever seen before. And they wind up getting turned out. Ain't nobody never seen Amber Rose before until she got with Kanye. And when they broke up, it seemed like everybody in the industry wanted to be her husband. What part of the game is that, man? Y'all want to know what I think it is? I think that these celebrities be wanting the demons of other celebrities. They figure, hell, if I had this man's demons, I'd be just as successful as he is. 
oh, you was with Diddy. I know you got some horrible soul ties. I need some of that so I could be successful like him. It was just rappers out there waiting for Amber Rose so they could get some of that Kanye West swag. Like, shit, I'm a local rapper. But if I get with Kanye's leftovers, that's going to put me on the same level as Yeezy. And, and that's how it go, man. These men want to ride each other's coattails off of the women that they be dealing with. Them soul ties is wicked. And Cassie, that shit is like a horror movie. The Haunting. The next Conjure movie they do need to be featuring Cassie, man, because she need an exorcism. And I feel bad for her now. And she figured, hell, I might as well try to get some money out of the deal. She got two kids. She got to make ends meet. She don't been through hell and back. She definitely got a check out of the deal. Hopefully she can get somewhere and repent and do better with herself, man. And I can only imagine when her husband get mad, he probably say some off the wall stuff, man. And it probably sting to the core. Let her get slick at the mouth. Her husband going to bring up all that shit. Did you say that to Diddy when he had you with the sex slave, huh? Oh, you wasn't popping that shit when Diddy was giving you $100 to pop off. I invite you to a movie session and you want to complain after you was in a freak off session with that man for 10 years. You dirty, Diddy dirty money, that's you. Diddy dirty money. Yeah, that's you. I know you are Diddy dirty money, a dirty, a dirty skank. He let her ass have it as soon as he get pissed off. It ain't nothing she could say, man. Because we all know that it's nothing but facts. 12 in the building. What it do, 12? We got QS over there as well. Maria Feliz. Hendrix Bragger, Jordan, Simply a Lauren. Rosa Linda. What's up? The Batty Shop is here. Yo, QS, what's, what's going on, man? I see you over there showing me mad love, man. It looked like you don't signed up some members or something. I got to scroll back and see... Yo, QS, let me know what's going on. Because it looked like you don't bought somebody a membership or something. Swifty Panda is in the building. What it do, man? What she do? Because she always showing me love, man. Yo, you're going to have to let me know. I ain't been keeping track. But for the people watching the video, make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the notification button. I got so much love for y'all. And we got to listen to this dude one more time. Listen at this, y'all they will be him because they keep the royalties of the music michael alone made 860 million dollars alone last year what happened is Diddy and ross which they good buddies okay mm -hmm. they 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 gay who both Diddy and ross and Cabin, they all gay okay? dj jelly hold the fuck up yo did he just say oh my goodness wait a minute hold up y'all gotta stay tuned That explains everything. It explains everything. How in the hell Pharrell got invited to the party with them gangsters? Oh and he the sweetest dude alive. Buster Rhymes got allegations for days. Instead of Buster Rhymes, it was Buster Butt. Instead of Buster Bus for the longest. They got all this money. And y'all already know, heterosexual niggas don't be balling like that. Oh my goodness. They all draped up on each other in the club, fake jewels on, kissing, swapping, spit. And if Rick Ross and Diddy Fruity, then that mean that 
everybody in their entourage is down for the butt. All of them, the whole fam. DJ Khaled, them BBW brothers, man. Take off the shirt. Nigga got breasts like Marilyn Monroe. And there's something else that tripped me out, man. Y'all need to feel me on this. Why they make them wear them flowery, them color? You, you ain't coming to the Rock Nation brunch with no Timbos on. They gonna have you with the hot pink on some saucy Santana shit. What niggas have brunch? Oh my goodness. That's something females do when they get together because they ain't seen each other in a long time. Grown ass men having brunch on the garden. And they all got on the zestiness, man. Pink suits or whatnot. Even Nas showed up to get a sandwich. And he had the bang dreadlocks in the front over a receding hairline just to keep up with the zest. These niggas get together, have breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, dessert. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, yo, this is y'all Oh, yo, what it do, bro? Uh, How you feeling? Saucy, saucy as motherfucking uh, PD. Come on, man. You're going to have to watch the language and all that. Cause that don't really make no sense. I ask you how you doing, and the first thing you start doing is cussing all over the place. What part of the game is that, man? That's what's wrong with the world. You got brothers out here disrespecting the game, and you heard about what happened to Cassie, and you still being disrespectful. It's sort of like you ain't got no love for that system, man. What's that wrong with Cassie? That's Ayo. That's Saucy is P Diddy's baby mom, yo. You said Saucy Santana is P Diddy's baby's mother? Oh my God. Yes. Find out he had a butt baby. Baby came straight out his <laughs> booty, man. You just never know. And they said Meek Mills was with the zest, too. Do you believe that? That's a fact. You see him and Rick Rollins, they, 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 they different now. Yeah, man. And plus, everybody knew that Rick Ross was a corrections officer. And Meek Mill with the prison reform, and he always rapping about how he been to jail. How you get out of jail and sign with a CEO? Uh man, I don't, I don't understand this game. It's wicked though, but uh, Sean Blaze, and much love to you, brother. Yo, much love to you too, bro. Don't be no stranger, neither. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like it. Real talk, man. So much love for him. But homie said that Rick Ross, Diddy, and all them dudes is zesty, man. So you know Drake is in their mix as well. They clapping for Khaled because he learned how to do the two-step. Like I told you, I've been practicing my black culture. He do the cabbage patch for them niggas and they all start jumping up and down like he did something. They look like a heterosexual nigga stepped up in there. They look nervous as hell. Like, damn, I ain't know y'all was inviting straight niggas to the party. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yeah, what's going on tonight? Yo, yo, hello, hello. Who this is, yo? Yo, this is Puffy Bodyguard. Oh, man, yo, we got Diddy Bodyguard on the phone, bro. Yo, what's on your mind, man? I want to tell you, Puffy is not innocent at all, okay? He loves the, the other side, if you know what I'm talking about. He invited me to McDonald's. He took me to his room and said, hey, do you want to watch porn? I said, heck no, man. Get out of my face, man. Pay me, but you pay me. And See, but you the so problem because it be the bodyguards that be protecting him with the zest. And then when he want to stop paying y'all, that's when y'all come out with allegations like y'all wasn't in the club with him or in the sex shop buying the butt plugs. Like y'all wasn't standing by the door protecting Diddy while he was allegedly in there with Ja Rule. Now y'all want to come out like y'all ain't zesty when y'all was protecting the zesty man. Look, man, I'm not doing no interviews, man. But you got the documents, you know. Puffy is not innocent. 
He's not innocent at all, okay? Gotta go. I gotta no go. No doubt, man. Thank you so much for your phone call, bro. Real talk. You got bodyguards coming out the woodworks talking about the zest like they wasn't a part of it. If I'm protecting your body and your body is zesty, oh my goodness. I'm going to feel a way about that. If I'm in your company, I got to protect you while you sashaying about. Make sure nothing happened to you. Nobody's trying to harm you. Then I must be zesty, man. Gene Deal got the nerve to say that Diddy wouldn't do certain things around me. He wouldn't hit on the woman around me. He wouldn't, he wouldn't do all that. I ain't never seen Diddy smoke a cigarette before because he ain't never smoked cigarettes around me. Gene Dill talking all this shit about what Diddy wouldn't do around him out of respect. But you the man he had come up in the sex shop to get the butt plugs? Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hey, man, it's old school. How you doing? No doubt, man. We got old school in the building. How you feeling, bro? Hey, man, I'm, you know, I feel lively. You know, I be checking your program out. I find it very entertaining and, you know, the information that's flowing through it, you know. But uh, I think it's this thing with, with, with uh, T. Diddy and, the, you know, the hip-hop community, I, myself, being that they was already aware of it, I feel like it's, they presented it to us now to distract us from other issues that maybe need some attention. But, you know, we focusing on this. Like all these immigrants they putting in here. You know, I'm thinking, you know, maybe this is a distraction all of us that they want to put before us now with this P. Diddy thing. Like I'm, I'm hearing from people that's calling in that all this is old news that is actually not nothing new. So if it wasn't important then, what make it all of a sudden today? You know it's a big deal. I'm not, and I'm not condoning if he if he did that. You know, but I, I'm saying I'm thinking. You know, we need to focus on these people that's coming in here because we don't know who's coming into our into our little comfort zone nowadays. You know, so that's all I had to say, man. And I appreciate the show, man. And. Uh, Keep doing what you're doing. Real because like talk, you said, there's a lot of ideas, and, you know, flowing through your show and open your mind. To, it's thought provoking. Maybe I'll put it like that. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, I appreciate that. And you called in and said some stuff that we needed to hear because people really look up to people like Rick Ross and DJ Khaled and come to find out Diddy Sex Slave said they both on the DL with it. Wow. Hey, my thing is this, they all them people's grown, so you know, hey, they doing it, they doing it. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can, you know, make my life better, you know, because I feel like I'm being distracted, you know, when they hitting us with this here, you know. I figure like, how you gonna bring other people in from, from a whole nother continent and put them in housing and, and, and stuff and heat, and you got people been living here all their life and they can't even get a loaf of bread. So, like I say, I think this is a distraction, you know. I could be wrong, you know, I'm, you know, I'm nobody. I'm just another human being that, you know, is concerned about everything. Real talk. But, we all can know. agree the African-American experience just got 10 times worse now that Diddy been called out along with all these other <laughs> celebrities that we've been worshiping for the past 20, 30 years, man. Wow. Yay. Hey, man. Hey. It's crazy. You know, that's life. Real talk. That's, That's life, life man. You know, and we appreciate your call. Don't be no stranger, brother. Make sure the next time I go live, you call in because we appreciate everything that you had to say. Make sure you enjoy your weekend, too. We're going to holler at you on the next video, bro. Oh, bro. Thank you, man. Real appreciate talk, man. it. Yo, you be good, Ooh. man. No doubt. Did y'all hear the pain in his voice? It's like he didn't want to talk about it, but he felt like it was his responsibility to say something because we all hurting right now. We like to envision our celebrities being Superman and Superwoman. And they living a, a happy life. And by them doing good, we all doing good. Or it's a possibility that we all can make something out of ourselves. But it's looking like the only way you're going to make something out of yourself is if you 100% intertwined with the devil. Because these successful people... And I ain't talking about Jay-Z. And they ain't got around to him yet. 
and people waiting for them to get around to Jay-Z. But my theory is you can't go after a married man, especially if his wife can vouch to shut all that shit down. Let them make an allegation about Jay-Z. All it's going to take is for Beyonce to do an Instagram to her billions of fans and say that those accusations is false and they're going to go away. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, yo. Hello? What up, what up? Who this be? Yo, yo, yo. yo. What's going on, man? I'm telling you, them boys on some devil worship nonsense with Cassie and all of that, bro. That's some satanic ritual stuff they got going on over there. You know, right? That's what it sound like because the dude, the sex slave, he sound like he been traumatized by all this stuff. Man, he's just another part of it, like he was saying. They part of it until they get disgruntled. They want money. Cassie a part of it, too. I looked up into that sex slave dude, and I saw one of his pictures with a tattoo. And I Google searched what the tattoo is. That's some of that occult stuff, too. That, bro, this is all a plan. Like the other brother said, it's a big distraction. You know how the devil work, man. He's slimy as whatever. But it's just all we got to just look to God in these times. Stop worshiping these human beings, man, because they lost. Man, you know, with the internet doing what it's doing and social media and all this shit, I don't think people are ever going to wake up out of the dream. I think people like being asleep. And once you start trying to wake people up, they're going to get agitated and don't want to hear nothing that you talk about. So you might as well just, you know, let people rock out and live their life if that's what's making them happy. Man, we going to just keep blowing that horn and whoever wake up, wake up. Whoever does, we start for them, bro, but... There's some people trying to get out of the matrix, you know what I'm saying? Some people glad to jump out of that. Some people just want to get lost in it, though. Hey, it's easier to be asleep. Like they say, ignorance is bliss, man, when you ain't got to worry about what's going on. Get you a chicken <laughs> dinner, go home, watch Love and Hip Hop, get up, go to work. People just trying to maintain out here, to be honest. Man, I'm praying for people, man. I see their pain, bro. I see their pain, and I'm like, dang, I'm glad I missed all of that. Man, I got saved early. I wanted to be one of them big stars just like them, man. And God said, no, you ain't going that route. Then I started hearing how Craig Mack wanted to follow Jesus. Then all these years passed and everybody that Puffy signed want to kill him. Man, I'm so glad I missed that train. These people crazy. Yeah, man. People don't know how funny things could get until... They got that contract in front of you and you already done told your moms, your family. You done told everybody that you about to be working with this big time celebrity. And then once you get close to signing the contract, that's when they hit you with all that funny shit. And you either going to go through it. You don't promise your mama a new house. You're going to take everybody out the projects. <laughs> you going to do the funny, the funniness or you just going to um, let it go. I'm going to let that go. I mean, shoot, bro, listen. I'm, I'm glad I know what I know now. You know what I mean? Like, for 10 years, I was like, I don't even want to get signed. I want to do this on my own. Because the whole industry is slavery. It's just a continuation of, you know, these are the same people that killed MLK. You know what I'm saying? I was saying, that, God said to me the other day that all of these artists are feds. I said, what you talking about, God? He said, look at it closely. Then that same dude a while ago that we was just listening to, he says that the feds and them are working to put drugs in the community. Remember, these are the same feds that killed um, Fred Hampton, killed MLK, killed, you see what I'm saying? So they set up these, these unfortunate black slaves to mislead the masses. Now we got drill rap. They calling it Chirac. I mean, God coming soon for this thing, man, because those folks that are asleep, I, I'm, I'm praying for them, bro. And I'm praying for myself, too, man, because it's, it's wicked what's going on in this world. Yo, man, Kanye tried to take people to school with the late registration. He said some of the most powerfulest things ever said in rap music, period, man. This album is a classic. Kanye was the savior, not only for rap, but for black people, man. And Man, you see, I disagree. You see what happened to Kanye. Now, they turned him into a straight up and down demon. And he was had Jesus walks and diamonds is forever and all this beautiful music, man. Yeah, but I mean, when you listen to it, 
it wasn't really it sounded on the surface you know what i'm saying but in the depths of it it wasn't really all about that and the the industry is wicked it's wicked america god bless america but man the powers that be bro it's 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 horrible man. you know what i can't oh. even argue with that dog you you absolutely right and before i start crying man I'm going to have to go ahead and just, you know, get the people's spirits up because you got people out here dragging their feet, sad as hell. And we appreciate your phone call, bro. Go get you some napkins or something. It really ain't even that deep because you be the main one listening to Rick Ross when you wake up in the morning. So much love for you, man. man and we going to holler at you later. Like Real talk, man. It be them calling here sounding Jamaican. Acting like he ain't a fan of Kylan and Rick Ross knowing that he they number one fan, man. But y'all need to see this, man. Because this right here was very, very inspirational. Hold on. We got another phone call. Hold up. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Your boy, Ellis. Oh, what's going on, Ellis? How you feeling, man? I'm good. You and... Man, we over here trying to figure it out, bro. Cassie came out with these allegations and people thought she was lying for the money. Come to find out somebody been saying the same thing that she's saying six years prior to her allegations. How you feel about all this, man? I still believe Cassie lying for the money. Cassie don't care about justice or did he being held accountable. She just wants the check. So even though this dude is saying the same thing Cassie was saying before Cassie even said it, you still feel like she lying? What, what, what are you saying exactly? He's saying that. He was a sex slave for Diddy. Diddy paid him to get it in with Cassie while Diddy sat there and masturbated. Cassie said the same thing in her lawsuit. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, anybody can say they're a sex slave to anybody. But why hey, Why would somebody want to do that, though? Uh, clout, is, clout and greed is a hell of a drug. So you just ain't going to give Cassie the benefit of the doubt? Negative. Damn near every entertainer, especially the black one. There's, there's always been people saying that they did this, they did that, they did, you know what I'm saying? I could if see if we were talking about nasty, if pastors, that, you got pastors out here getting caught up in freak offs, man. So you can't yeah. put nothing past Diddy. You got Creflo, all these pastors, not Creflo Dollar, I meant to say um, okay, Bishop, to Eddie, Bishop Eddie Long. You got people getting caught left and right in the house of God doing ungodly things man so how you gonna give diddy a pass when his record label is named bad boy oh uh, yeah yeah i don't know yeah i guess you know everybody adults everybody down for the whatever until the money dry up you absolutely right about that but morally he was gonna have to pay eventually man it's only so every dog has his day and diddy been living like the biggest dog in the entertainment business man and he been getting away with so much for so long i guess he probably happy that this shit is happening he giving people back they publishing he don't change his name to brother love he had to know that one day his time was gonna come he lived it up and had fun it's like laugh now cry later now he had the point in his life where he can't do nothing but cry. Uh, he just had a child, too. Just had a child, man. He got miles to feed. He might not be able to provide for all them kids like how he did before. How he going to get a bag when they keep canceling all of his stuff? Uh, they going they about to R. Kelly, Diddy. R. Cosby, Diddy. Do you feel bad for him or do you feel like this is what he deserve? I, um, I don't feel bad for the brother. I, it's like... When you get to that level, you can do whatever you want to do. But when the powers that be, they done with you, then uh, next thing you know, you the, you the bad, you the big bad wolf, and you need to go. He ain't doing nothing that anybody else ain't done at that level. But you know what, bro? Cassie did it all for the money, because when she finally found love, she got with somebody that don't even look like Diddy. This is her type all along. She'll marry this motherfucker and have his kids, but she wanted to be Diddy's bust down. Yeah, she went the out there. Started drying up. She got her hillbilly. I mean, this dude got a cowboy a hat, trainer. cowboy boots, and he ain't yeah. not, he ain't got no swag or nothing like Diddy. But that's what she really wanted to be with. But for the money, she not only slept with Diddy, but whoever he threw in her direction. Ain't that cold blooded? Yeah, she was adult and she was down. She was down with the program. They said the money dry up now. 
Diddy's a big bad wolf. So it's whatever. It, it's, it's it's all fair in love and war. Yo, her husband got to be a bigger freak though, because he know all this stuff and still wiped it, smashed it, skied it, and got her pregnant. He must uh, like Cassie, the fact that she Cassie, was Diddy's well, dog. Yeah, Cassie didn't hit the wall. She 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 old news. So the best she can do is come back for some money for the check and say Diddy did all this stuff to her after she didn't hit the wall. Now her husband got all them demons and them soul ties still on her ass. Yeah, he damaged goods, so that's all she can do is. Yo. Hopefully they got together and prayed this stuff away and really got some counseling. Hopefully Cassie is on another path in her life. And I'm praying for it because she was definitely living wrong once upon a time, man. Well, she about to be on a new path with that money. Did he, uh, that cut that check that did he cut? She about to be on a new path. He married her ass and she got on a white dress, man. She need to take that shit off and put on something tar. She a has been. So that's what the has been do. They come back talking about you mistreated them and they want some money now. They hit the wall. They has been. They they got too much mileage down there. Now they want some money. You figure her husband be like, you don't need his fucking money. Fuck him, man. We, we got to have each other. We have the kids. We don't need anything from Diddy. He's a dirty dog. We're going to leave him in the past. You have me now. I'm your man. I don't never want to hear his name spoken in my house ever again. But he was rallying to get that check from Diddy. Like, yes, we need that money. Uh, you, uh, you just, I just thought about that. As a man of the house, he should have been, I don't want Diddy's blood money. I want to see Diddy hang. I want to see Diddy prosecuted, held accountable. I want none of that man's money. I'm the man of the house. I make the money. But he's all, he's all with the plan. He's all in. We're getting to cut a check, too. So, yeah, yeah, yeah everybody want money. She probably don't plan on giving her husband a dime. She, <laughs> she ain't even consult him. Because when Diddy settled, her husband wasn't in her ear like, no, let's push it a little longer. Don't take the first offer. She took the first offer. And you figure if that's her man, he probably had to give her some input unless she like, fuck him, this is my money. Nah, it's, it's, it's everybody crooked. Everybody, nobody got clean hands in this. You think that, that, she, that? You think she took that Diddy money and put it in a family account for the whole family to share? Who, yeah, nope. Who knows? I doubt it. I don't know what Cassie is. She's crooked, so I don't know what she did with it. She probably took that yeah, money. You know what? Matter of fact, what's that? She ain't been home in a month since she got that money. She ain't never coming back. She's going to be the man of the house. That's going to be her money and the children's money, and his ass going to be asking her for, uh, for allowance, for some money to go shopping. He mad about that. Like, damn, now my wife, she the one, she the breadwinner. What the fuck I'm supposed to do? Personal training ain't going to get me no damn 30 yeah. milli. Yeah. You need some, honey, can I get some? Uh, here's, a debit, here's a debit card with a $300 limit. Daily limit. And she ain't never had no money like that before. I'm pretty sure Diddy yeah. kept her looking good, kept her looking fly, but no dough. She had no money, so she had, so she. they came up with a plan to come at diddy and it worked hey Yo, you absolutely right man that's why we want to thank you for your phone call bro you the realest man ain't nobody made hey, no points like thing. how you made all one night thing. no one doubt. thing brother yo man one thing. yo you said a lot of good stuff man we appreciate Rip. you so much and we want you to call back next time man so much love yo hello hello who this is man hi this is jennifer what's going on jennifer how you feeling over there um, I'm feeling pretty good, pretty good. Man, I'm, I'm weighing. Real talk, we need you to cut that off in the background and let us know exactly how you feel about all this stuff, man. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to turn it off. Where is that? Okay, there we go. Okay, so your last caller, he was basically saying that how Cassie basically did it for the money. Mm -hmm. I don't actually believe that. I think what did he did was way worse and she's entitled to every cent she got. Mm, you feel like Cassie deserved it? Oh yeah. I think she more than deserved it. I think we don't know the half of what went on. I'm pretty sure it's I plenty it's of people. Worse. It's plenty of people that Diddy did this to, but at the end of the day, them people got to be thinking to themselves, I went through with it. I'm a grown person. I, I told him, yes, I didn't object. 
I went along with it. He paid me. I got paid for my services. All the male prostitutes, them strippers, you think they was doing that for free? They was getting the check no. and they did it for the money the okay. same way Cassie did it for the money, even though she a grown no. ass woman. No, what what you guys are failing to realize is that when Diddy got with Cassie, she was 19 years old. She was naive. That man pursued that girl. He tracked that girl down. He pursued her. I think he lured her in with a good lie. Once she got lured in, thinking, oh, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread, then his two colors came out. And by that time, she was too scared and she was already trapped into it. You know so what? There's no, female in, there's no female in their right mind that's going to put up with that mess, no matter how much money you throw at them. I think she was just naive. And that, he knew what he was doing. He didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, he was a lot more advanced. He'd been doing what he'd been doing way before she even came into the picture. When she was in elementary school, Diddy was out there doing the same shit he was doing. So by the time yeah, he got to her, his yeah, he really, um, he, was out there. Mm -hmm. he took advantage because he was way more advanced than Cassie was at 19 years old. Yes. And I think, um, you know, the guy was talking about her husband and how, you know, that's her type and whatever. After Cassie put up with all that mess, can you blame her for totally switching and going the other way? Mm. That guy probably worships the ground she walks on. Mm. He really you know, loves her for her. Know. Yeah, we can't, you know, we can only speculate. You know, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors. But that man, he probably loves Cassie for Cassie. He married her, they have two children. And Cassie, I don't know how much he paid her, but in my opinion, it's not enough. Yo, her husband probably asked her questions that Diddy never asked her the whole 10 years they was together. He got to know her on an intimate level and really got her right. to open up and realize who she was as a person. That's something she would have never got with Diddy. All she knew was sex, 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 work, work, work. Right. And you can't even say work, 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 because he didn't promote her music career. He just lured her in. She and then, you know, the thing, the thing is that um, I don't know why these young kids, they're all about, I want to be a rapper. I want to be in the music industry. You know, and then once they get in it, the first sight of that kind of mess, they just go along with it. They don't, you know, pay, it's like they have, they have no family support system to go to. They just get lured in. Do you honestly think, I mean, I'm a girl, but if, if I was saying I wanted to be in the music industry, even at that age, if they presented me with some mess like that, nah, nah. You know, I don't think Patty had family behind her. She had no one behind her. Did he just lured her in? He was probably kissing her feet. I can't disagree with you, man, because the stuff that's coming out about Diddy, we all knew that he was a wild boy, but we never had as many details as we have now. And people can make up stuff and tell stories, but I don't see why these people would be telling the same lie about Diddy, man. Right. Everybody's against Diddy, right? It was all good just a couple of months ago. Wasn't nobody even think about Diddy like that. But as soon as he dropped the ball with Ciroc, and he was talking about Ciroc wasn't giving black people equal rights, and he trying to fight for equality as if he wasn't the CEO of Ciroc for like a whole decade or whatever. He wasn't fighting for equality. He was fighting for his money. Diddy yeah. doesn't give a hell about black people. He was fighting for his money. That's what he was fighting for. He wasn't fighting for black culture. <laughs> you know, they probably wanted to get rid of him from, you know, he's fighting for his, not for black culture. He was trying to make it a all problem. The same thing Ice Cube was doing with the whole uh, big three in the, the um, NBA, trying to make it seem like they discriminating because we black and all the, trying to rally people behind him 
when he ain't doing nothing for the community with the big three, why we got to hop behind you because they ain't trying to give you a bag. Exactly. Exactly. You know, how is that going to benefit me? That's not going to benefit me. That's going to benefit your pocket. And not even that. But it's, I mean, I know everybody remembers those old enough. Back in the 90s, when Wendy Williams, I was in England, my hometown, London, and we knew about Diddy and his mess. Yeah. Everybody disregarded Wendy, you know? And look how it came full circle. Man, that's a bloody mess, man. And I don't know why they even did it like that. But one thing for sure, your conversation is everything. We love you to death all the way from the UK. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I want you to call back. That's what I want. And I had a really, really, really good time with you on the phone, man. I love this little Spice Girl right here. I appreciate you so well, much. I'm man. actually... No doubt, man. I'm really into jokes. Yeah. I'm actually a Spice Girl, but yeah. I, actually, I actually live in Georgia now. Uh-huh. So, um... Mm -hmm. Hold on, so, wait a minute. I you mean, said you in, Georgia? you in Georgia now? Oh, my goodness. I live in Georgia. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Okay. So, um... Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. but, um so, everything that's going uh -huh. on... Yeah. I mean, I'm like... Yeah. I'm like completely hooked on this. Everyone around me. Oh, it's like, about to go oh, no, down. No, she no. in Georgia. I got the phone number too. It's about to go down. Do you mind if I call uh, you back? Because I gotta finish the show. We gonna finish this conversation when I call you back tonight. Tonight, like no, twelve. No, no, I'm gonna call you back tonight. No doubt, mom. We gonna holler at you. you know, I'm gonna holler you know at you what? later. <laughs> All right, baby. Make sure you up too, because it's gonna no, be kind of late. Thank you so much for your phone call, man. And I really do appreciate her conversation. All the way from the UK, mate. Heard up. But like I was saying, man, Diddy was supposed to be the CEO of Ciroc and he's supposed to have a billion dollars in the bank. But he talking about the company failed to invest resources into his Ciroc vodka. You ain't got no resources. Oh my goodness. You supposed to be the CEO of Ciroc. You ain't got no money to put into your own company. You need them to give you money and you supposed to be a billionaire. How can you be racially discriminated against and you supposed to be a boss and been a boss? Was you ever really a boss? I think it was all the facade. They trying, they put him up there as a puppet to make it seem like when you buy Ciroc, you buy black owned. Come to find out he was just a worker with a job and they fired his ass because he got slick. And then everybody else fought, fired him behind that. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hello. Hey, what's going on? Who this be? This is Gabrielle. Oh, man, we got Gabrielle on the phone. I know you got something real important to say, so I'm going to shut up and we all going to listen to what you got to say. <laughs> Well, I mean, honestly, as a young woman, I've been kind of like paying attention to the whole situation. Mm -hmm. And I feel like no young woman in their right mind is going to like sign up for that. Like, I've been keeping up with your show and kind of like watching as you like give all the information and as information comes out, ain't nobody going to sign up for that. You know, we live in the thought generation right now. You got Suki Hanas and Sexy Reds amongst us. They out there. They in the projects. You got hood rats that's willing. People, you got chicks out here having sex for weed. They getting oh. it in for sandwiches. They will. They got to pay their bills. They'll give it to you for the rent money off the back. They'll do it to pay their phone bill. A new purse, <laughs> some shoes. Get their nails done, their hair done. They going to throw that oh, whopper my. at you for some bread and you mean to tell me ain't nobody gonna give diddy them cheeks i mean to be honest yeah there are women who will but diddy is a is an openly gay man so it's one thing to be selling it or the rent and all of this but gay men is like you just signing up for a whole nother level of all you opening yourself up to all kind of other things as well so I don't know about that. I don't I don't think anybody will willingly sign up for that. Like like the other lady, like the last caller was saying, I just feel like, you know, it wasn't originally introduced as that. That's something that 
was exposed to her. And I feel like, you know, she just was like, well, shit, you know, it, the economy always been bad. She, she, she took the opportunity for what it was. So to be doing this now, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it as a woman because I feel like you, you had to have cooperated at some point. Most definitely, man. And like you said, she probably ain't know what it was at first, but people in the industry talk. She ain't have on no earplugs the whole time she was up there, bad boy. You mean to tell me no female pulled her to the side or she ain't heard no horror stories about Diddy? Ain't exactly. nobody tell her to be cautious, but she still went along with it? See, when you see these people who, like, see other injustices happening and they don't stand up for it, like... Even if it is their own, their own situation is one thing, but also like I'm a person like if I see something else going on, I feel like it makes me equally as guilty to not like stand up and say something when these other things are happening around me. Like that's like if you in public, right? And you see something happening to a woman like you don't want it. You may not want to insert yourself because you don't know what could happen these days. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it's wrong. And that's the whole, is that not the point of living in a society? Is like, that's what society, that's what having a society is supposed to be about. That's why we have these rules because how is it supposed to be a just society and a safe place if there are no rules? The problem with the world now is they trying to do this shit with no rules and that, that just cannot be. Like, if that's the case, then we should just live without Come society. On, I hear what you're true. saying. And you sound very, very educated with what you're saying. But the truth of the matter is, money talks and bullshit walks. Oh All that stuff <laughs> you're saying sounds good. But when it comes time to get paid, people are willing. Have you ever seen Fear Factor? Oh Maybe that was before oh your time. God. You ever seen that I show? I have. Let me let me tell you, I just got to take it in for a moment that I'm really on this phone with you because I watch you no every like every day. That's amazing. And man. I love keeping up with you. But this, you know what? I'm going to throw some substance on this as a as a young woman firsthand for me. I'm 30 years old. Right. And mm -hmm. it's been really hard trying to uh, like navigate life and not be like. You know, because there's been plenty of white men who have come to me and approach me like with money and they like, oh, you can have this and that and the third. So it's been extremely, extremely hard not to be one of those women that most men think that all women are like most men think that all women can be bought these days. So when I when I make my stance that I can't be bought, they just like, nah, nah, like they not even buying it. They don't even believe that this type of woman exists, that you know, is a woman of substance. And if it was all about money, I would already have what I want right now. I wouldn't be out here working like a Mexican. If I could be bought, I would just, I would have just took somebody up on their offer by now, you know? Hey, but man. it's not about that for everybody. It's really not about that for every. I'm not going to lie. Like that is the majority and it's sad, but that's why I consider myself a real diamond in the rough, a real gem, because most women, you present them with a price and they gon' they gonna roll with it, you know? And then as soon as it's not playing into their favor anymore, that's when, you know, they try to save face. But no, like, I'm not gonna lie. I battle and I pray about this every day. I have a lot of tough days. I have a lot of days where, you know, I get up and I just do what I gotta do to make my money. But I literally wrote a post about it today. It's like, I'm trying to keep my morale every day. I'm just like, my morals, mean more to me than a dollar and i'm sorry but i just can't go i can't go i think that's for the week hey man point. i hear what you're saying but when it's time to pay them bills and your stomach growling you I'm, got miles to feed and you out here struggling doing bad and somebody talking about hitting you off with some stacks you might be on your way to dubai to have sex with a camel or something oh my, oh my god you know what listen i pray to god every day for the struggles that I face. And when the bills need to get paid, they always get paid somehow, some way, because my faith is just that strong. It's, it's like that. Like between me and God, we really have that relationship where it gets covered. I literally wrote today, like, I don't know how things are gonna get handled, but it's getting handled. And I've seen plenty of scenarios where he shows up for me in my life and for others. So I'm gonna encourage faith and I'm gonna, I'm gonna encourage every young woman who's out here trying to make it without having to do that 
y'all keep doing whatever y'all gotta do because you I sleep very well at night. That's the one thing about it. And it yeah. always gets done. It always gets done. Real talk, Ma. And we so glad that you called in to give us a different perspective because Cassie got the world thinking that all women like that. And with your phone call, we know that's not the case. You got women out here that would turn down the money and go work at a call center somewhere before they take money from a rich man. And yeah, I respect I'm that. A I'm a serial entrepreneur with this shit. I can never quit. I can never stop. Mm -hmm. I know that at the end of the day, it's easier said than done. But... I mean, you know, you those like-minded men like yourself have to have their counterpart. There are women out here who, like, you could have been robbing and stealing and killing, but you said, no, I'm going to go, I'm going to get on YouTube, and I'm going to give people these good documentaries. You risk your motherfucking life. No like, doubt, man. <laughs> That's what I be doing. And what people like you calling in got me feeling like I need to keep on doing what I'm doing. And I got to let you know you need to keep on doing what you're doing because yeah, whatever you're you doing is working for you. Worried up. You turn me on with this song. I'm oh, telling you right now. You shit. You know yes. what? I'm trying to keep it professional. You talking about what you <laughs> wouldn't do for no money and all that. Now you talking about I'll be turning you on and stuff. It seemed like you trying to get me up out of a bag or whatever. But I love you to no. death, my. And I don't want you to be no stranger. I'm over. Look, I got a show to do and you trying to get free. It's getting late and all that. You know you ain't right. I always say I love you in the comments. You don't be seeing it, but yeah. I always say I love you because it's you not too. very many who's out here giving the real mm -hmm. and the raw and just mm. You know? Yeah. You really do you risk your motherfucking I, I, life. For you, like, though. I do it for you. I don't do. I don't know who watching, but I do it for you, though. And I need you to know that. Yeah. I love you to death, man. And I don't oh, want you ladies. to be no stranger, man. You the one. You the one. And make sure you call no, back. You Real talk. I, look, man, we might as well just do the damn thing because I got a wedding ring waiting. Matter of fact, we ain't got to yeah. talk about that online. I'm going to holler at you oh, on the next video, man. Oh. Real talk. No doubt. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, Oh man! Oh! How in the hell she gonna say that she wouldn't try to get it in with Diddy when she called up with her lip gloss popping for YouTubers and all that? And I appreciate her phone call, but I ain't got nowhere near Diddy money, and she damn near sat on my lap during the phone call. Now that's my sister and I love her to death. But if I had 10 bands and I asked her, what was that cash at? Y'all don't think she would have hit, hit me with that cash at? Dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs, man. Somebody show me some love. And I got love for that sister that called in. She said she'd been watching for a long time and she finally called. She got to know that I love and appreciate her for that. And I'm going to get them on um, Cash App shout outs in a minute. But we got more news we got to talk about, man. I'm really frustrated that we live in a time to where men can be disregarded like nothing. Treated like trash. And for the men out there, y'all know what I'm talking about. Your manhood really ain't got nothing to do with nothing no more, man. Unless you claim it as your own, but who really want to be by themselves and miserable for the rest of their life? So it's sort of like we all got to play along and get along, but it's getting worse and worse every day. And for my brothers out there, keep your head up because you got women like Cassie that'd be willing to rock with you when you got money. But as soon as they ain't getting paid no more, they want to throw you under the bus. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, what's Hold going on, on Ma? How you feeling? Oh, we still talking about Diddy. And yeah. Vivette. No doubt. We still talking about Diddy. Diddy ain't talking about nothing. Diddy, everybody, he been exposed now. I mean, shoot. He, he, that's, that's long. That's long. Well, I guess it's still going to be some people will talk about, I guess. I mean, a lot of people already knew that about Diddy. They just don't say anything because supposedly he be sweeping people up under the rug and underground, literally, so. Well, you got this male prostitute, male escort, and this is something you barely ever hear. You hear women escorts, but a male escort that get paid to have sex with rich people's girlfriends and wives? Did he got these type of people on speed dial? Oh, you know he do. Oh, yeah, Diddy is a, he's a big I ain't old never freak. know that. I ain't never heard of nothing like that. I think he's the first person to come out and start talking about someone who has been paying him, which he's not supposed to do that. So, 
it's 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 a gruesome thought when you really process it and, and let it settle into your mind that Diddy was paying men. I mean, basically off the street or some industry insider, some people on standby that's willing to have sex for money. Now, I could get a female that he paying for that, but a man? What man gonna go in their pocket and give another man some money just to... I could see if he was 80-something years old and he just couldn't get it up, but he just that type of a freak. Um, I think that if a man is paying another man to lay with his wife or his girlfriend, that's something that he wants to see. I don't think that. I think, first of all, that's, that's what we got to look at, first of all. If a man is paying another man to lay with his wife or his girlfriend, that's something that he wants to see. It's just like if a man has a, if a man is rich, but he has a 48, 49 year old woman that he's with after he left his wife, she probably has younger women that are around her, such as her daughter, her niece, and her daughter, her niece's friend. So if a man is paying for a, oh a man goodness. to have sex with his wife, it's something that he wants to see. Men don't do sexual favors for their homeboy like that. But I know some I know some dudes who don't pay some some they homeboys to have a baby with a chick they was with because they weren't trying to have no, no kid with her, you know, right now in his life and he paid his homeboy to have a, a kid with her and, you know, he took care of the kid even, but it, it looked like that was their situation. But it wasn't. It was really her and his homeboy situation. But as far as a man like, oh, I'm gonna pay for this because because older women, what I it ain't nothing about older women. Women, period. Well, I don't know what it's about, but I know one thing. Your conversation really got people in the comment section clapping their hands because you broke it all the way down. And I'm going to elaborate on what you said because what you said got me thinking about it. A whole different situation with Diddy paying people to have his kids like how Wolf and all the other people allegedly his baby mama's baby daddies and stuff you the realest of the realest and i gotta let you know that and make sure you call back the next Ooh. time you feel like it and all that man her con she need to get a grammy for that her conversation was on point yo word because it seemed like diddy probably paid gene deal to have a couple of his kids and them other bodyguards that was doing security work he probably paid them as well man listen at this y'all Poison me, and by the way, y'all done already fuck with me so much. Y'all already black mirrored me. You already made everybody think I'm crazy. You already took my family away. You already separated all my friends. I don't got no celebrity friends because when I was on TV on Instagram saying I don't know where my child is, and the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public, and I didn't have the address of my child. None of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address, though. Travis right? gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait. He said that somebody kidnapped his kids in public. He was coming out the, the damn smoothie king and threw the smoothie in the air because Northwest was getting in the black van and the van pulled off. Shit, if you looking for them kids, go Northwest. Try Southeast or go to shit. The name of the kids let you know where they at. You don't even need a GPS system. He said that Diddy wouldn't tell him where his kids was at. Meek Mill wouldn't tell him. How the hell they know where his kids at? Unless they all known for trafficking and all that. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hi, Sean. This is Sherry. What's up? Hey, what's going on, Ma? We talking about Diddy. It's a sad conversation, too. How you feel about all this? Man, I always thought Diddy was a little suspect. Always something about him. Man, he more than a little suspect. Now, all that zesty <laughs> stuff was cute a couple of months ago, but now we don't got down to the nitty gritty. This man will pay an overweight male prostitute to get it in with his girlfriend. Who does that? Somebody weird extremely weird man i i still can't it's hard to digest that this really happened man a police interview of a former male escort jonathan Idy, is going viral after the man is seen making some shocking claims about diddy in the video Idy claims that 
He had multiple sexual encounters with Diddy and Cassie, even calling wow. himself their sex slave. According to Adi, Diddy would tell Adi what to do to Cassie while he masturbated himself, which readers say is in line with Cassie's claims in her lawsuits. It's exactly in line with everything that she said. And these claims were made between 2014 and 2017. Yeah, uh... He's probably involved in more things than we will ever know. You figure he'll be a big black tall NBA BBC. He's a, <laughs> a middle aged, middle eastern, middle weight. He everything about him middle, and he was in the middle of Cassie. Yeah, he been in the middle of everybody. <laughs> Some sad the male too. <laughs> Do you respect? Can you even listen to Diddy's music now? After you hearing know, this shit. Ah. <sighs> I do feel if it if it come on my radio, I, I'll probably play it. No lie, R. Kelly too. Just don't give a damn, do you? <laughs> well, good music, good music. You shit, personal, personal shit. We like what we like. I tried listening to R. Kelly, and not only that, I tried to listen to R. Kelly when I was getting it in, and I, it just wasn't working for me, man. I kept thinking about him doing all that weirdo shit, and I had to turn it off. Right. It turned right. me off, well, man. I'm like, I can't vibe out the Kells thinking because the music sound good. You're right. But when you think about them allegations, you're like, I don't feel right listening to this. I don't know. We have to be real with ourselves. Uh, I don't think that uh, R. Kelly did all the things that they said he did. Women are, uh, you know, they like to chase the bag and R. Kelly got a big bag and they wanted that bag. So they to lay up with them was nothing. Bad, 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 bad boy. <laughs> you make me feel so good. You know you make me feel so good. You know you make. How you gonna listen to that and you think about Cassie in the bed with ten of them bad boys and Diddy whacking off talking about bad, oh, bad, bad, no, bad that's, boy. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> no, that right there. Ooh. ooh, it's bad, man. It's like his legacy is done. We just want to throw him in the trash and move on. Like all his hits, all his music, Jodeci, they all sound like they was high on ecstasy, singing about sex, being in for the coochie. High. Yeah, they was <laughs> they pearls. Was on coke. They was on coke, all kind of stuff. Molly. All yeah. of that in it's the sad. early 90s. It's all sad. I mean, and then all the black men that we, you know, were on in the 90s that we were jamming to. Oh, zesty. <laughs> Some freak. Sad. Male prostitutes. You know, my theory is 90% of the R&B singers is male prostitutes. They gigolos. They strippers. They get on stage, be humping, winding, grinding, taking their shirt offs, baby oils. What's the difference between a black R&B singer and a stripper? Genuine with the well, pony. Well, the difference between an R&B stripper and a singer, I mean, a, a stripper is... The R and B singer know they about to get a bag. The stripper is chasing the bag. They don't know what their bag gonna look like at the end of the day. Shit, when you That's see about difference. ten big girls sitting in the front row, you know what that <laughs> bag gonna be like. <laughs> Less than nothing. This nigga genuine <sighs> was sweating. He was screaming. He was he was out there selling his ass. He took his shirt off. All that. He been a male stripper in the music industry his whole entire career. You know I'm well, telling the truth, man. It is what it is. It is, Sean. Exactly that. I enjoy watching your show, and I have been wanting to call you, and I'm on live watching it on TV and on the phone. I enjoy what you do. Keep doing what you do. See, that's the problem. I asked and you to I cut that. I don't know Charleston White. <laughs> this is Sherry Charleston. I don't know Charleston White. <laughs> man, look, Sherry Charleston, we got love for you. And we glad you called in. I would have never thought you would have called, but you called in tonight. I'm very pleased with this conversation, man. That's why I don't want it to be your last time. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like it, my love. Real talk. We're going to holler at you Thank later. You, you be so good much. out there. I'm glad I got through without you cussing me out. Oh, man. Bye-bye. It's all love. All right, now. I'll holler at you later, my love. Real talk. Hold on, man. Go go back. 
the Tamiok, Usher, all that shit wrapped into one. The last dragon, the last stripper, the last, the last porn star, the last everything, man. He'll do karate for the bag. He'll cook for the money. He'll have sex for the money. He'll mow the lawn for the money. These men will do anything in Hollywood. If they paying, they with it, man. Now he look like one of the Mario brothers, Luigi or somebody. And he can't dance no more. He probably couldn't dance in the first place, but it ain't matter because he had all that baby oil on his chest. Oh, man. You know, I did a vision board. And I had all the moguls that inspire me, people that I inspire to be like on the vision board or whatever, man. It was Diddy, Jay-Z, and Master P. Needless to say, I got rid of that vision board. Oh my goodness. Because I can't even envision being nothing like this man. And just imagine if these things would have never came out and I would have manifested the Diddy lifestyle. I'd be with some young ass Cassie, have her doing God knows what. He took his daughter to the red carpet. She got on cut off jean shorts and they say that's Jean Dill's daughter. That's why she be wearing them jean shorts. They call her Jeannie for short. He giving her a rose. He looking at her like he in love, man. I don't trust him around his own kids no more. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Oh, this is... uh. Daryl calling out of uh, San Francisco. No doubt. All um, the way from San Fran. What's going on with you, bro? What's on your mind? Oh, man, look. Man, I, I, you know, all this Diddy stuff, I, at first I thought it was just a YouTube thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it was false advertisement, da 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 You know how they do it on YouTube nowadays. But it on social media. But anyway... Yeah, you know, it's sad, brothers, you know, that all of this is going on. And I, I, I always knew that the dude was a creep because there was a long, a, a while ago, I was watching a um, uh, interview. They were interviewing uh, Biggie's mom. And they um, and she was saying that she, um, after his death, he never reached out to her and never gave, gave her anything. And that kind of like blew my mind. It was like, man, you know, who is this dude? But anyways, I just want to share that, you know, and I called this number out of curiosity, really, because I'm looking at it on um, on, on TV and uh, on YouTube, rather. And, uh, you know, God bless you, man. I, I, I hope that justice is served, you know, and... Because he took out, you know, if it's true, if it's any, any truth to it, which, which it's looking like that, you know, he took out a lot of good people, you know what I'm saying? That, and hurted a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we don't need that in our society. We have we have enough sickness in this world than to, to you know, have somebody like that getting away and got away with it for years, man. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't know what this world is coming to. I'm a set. I'm a seventies baby. You know, it was all love back then. But anyway, with that said, you enjoy your um, your evening, the rest of your evening, brother. Thanks for being out there. You know, thanks for allowing us public to put in our give, give our input. And um, happy holidays, brother. If you Yo, still man. Celebrate it. Happy holidays to you, man. And I appreciate you for calling in. It's nothing but love over here. And the next time I go live. Make sure you call back, man, because we appreciate your conversation. Enjoy your weekend as well, my dude. No doubt. You be great. Yo, thank him so much, man. He called in and graced us with his presence. Y'all need to get over to Doc's Daily. As y'all see, this channel right here, it be going down. If you never listened to a Doc's Daily video before, now's your chance. Tyrese done exposed DJ Envy wife. And it was bad, man. Did Whoopi Goldberg join the dark side? She looking like Shane Tsung. 
She's snatching souls and everything. And Oprah watching with them big knockers, man. Said Diddy made Cassie's life a living hell. And Usher finally, finally exposed that. Finally put it out there. Usher is Diddy's Aaliyah. The same way R. Kelly had Aaliyah and had her in the studio 14 singing nasty. Diddy did the same thing with Usher. Usher was living with Diddy. His mother sent him to go live with Diddy, the flavor camp, so he can get an introduction to the lifestyle. So he could see how they get down in the industry. Diddy broke him in and trained him. He was at daddy's house with the rest of the freaks. Waking up in the morning together, fighting over the cereal boxes. Diddy got a little kid living in his house. They wake up at the same time. Usher said he still can't go to sleep. And living with Diddy was the hardest times of his life. It's all in the video, man. Y'all need to check it out. But that's Negro here nor there. Let me see something real quick. Because we've been on here for a good little minute, man. And y'all been showing me all types of love. And I'm going to take this time to let y'all know. I do appreciate y'all being here and watching the video with me. But we all need to say a prayer for Cassie because regardless if she was with it or not, she was obviously with it, but still, Diddy ain't had no business treating that girl like no damn sex slave. He could have got off on his own. If he wanted to masturbate, he could have did that by himself. What you need Cassie there for? And you gonna pay another man to be with Cassie so you can get your right. Use your imagination. You get your lumpy ass in the bed with Cassie. If that's your girl. Y'all wanna know what I think it is? I think he like to see how low will somebody go. It make him feel superior. He threw her in the mud and he was waiting for her to smile so he could see the doodle on her teeth, man. He that type of dude that'll make you walk six blocks to get him a cheesecake. And when they came back with the cake, he ain't even want it. And he did that on national TV. And that got me wondering, man, can you really trust this man around his kids? Because his daughter getting older. They be hugging up on each other, kissing all in the mouth with the family. And I don't trust him, man. Ain't no telling what the kid, what the kids going through. And I hate to bring the kids into this, man. Shout out to um his family, but I don't know if he going to be able to support them like how he did. Hold on. When I seen this, it made me feel real uneasy and real uncomfortable. He took her out and the smile on his face looking like he is happy as hell. I understand the little daddy dating all that, but they holding hands. She looking elegant. He told Cassie to stay home. He's standing back looking at his work of art and knowing his track record. I wouldn't leave him alone with her. And that's a sad thing when you even have to think like that because all this time I'm thinking he's just a loving father. He love the kids and I'm pretty sure he do love the kids, but why you got her on the red carpet by herself? What changed in her that made you want to take her out? I ain't like that when it happened, man. Diddy graces Academy Awards with his darling 15 year old daughter and she looking like a grown ass woman. And you figure it's all innocent, but Diddy is no longer innocent. Oh so whatever he did, it ain't innocent no more, man. Got his 15, them little girls wearing halter tops and shit. And why he always got to be standing next to this one all the time? That's like Master P and his daughter. The shit is weird. The whole family vibes is off. 
yo, get that man kids off the screen because I don't mean no disrespect to them. Hold on, y'all need to see this. It's the craziest thing ever, man. Master P always treated this one better. And this one, he ain't never smiling in the picture with her. But he be all cheesing, all smiles when he with the other one, man. I don't trust these rappers with their kids. I just don't know what to do no more, man. Who the? There's plenty of zesty pictures online with him and his sons, too. They be in the hot tub sweating together. And you figure that's innocent, but if you hiring male strippers and you got your sons laying around here doing nothing and Cassie horny, what you going? He pro if he'll let a male prostitute be with his chick, would he let them kids have at it as well? He probably the reason for their first sexual experiences, man. And plus, his son was dating Lori Harvey. Then he come in the picture and start dating Lori Harvey, and she was just a child. Oh my goodness. And that shit got swept under the rug as well. Because Steve Harvey was right there. Her parents was right there. And it's sort of like they wanted to traffic Lori tired of paying for her ass she got expensive taste they threw her ass in the water bitch if you don't swim you gonna drown this was a whole ritual with diddy like you gonna have to figure this shit out and she been floating from baller to baller ever since diddy allegedly flipped her ass in that water she reaching up for steve harvey marjorie to get her bitch if you can't swim you gonna drown now she's swimming with the big fish. Did, people will send their kids to Diddy for grooming. They sent Lori Harvey to the flavor camp so she could get that flavor and learn how to mingle in the industry, yo. Quincy can't even keep his tongue in his mouth. He like, I love it, I love it. Ah. About to lick that butt as soon as they get back to the telly, man. He pointing down like, we got a bus down up in here. Tiana Taylor looked like she mad because they don't want nothing to do with her cheeks. Like, man, it used to be my party, man. She leaving the party looking all sad. Don't nobody want to mess with the Botox. Lori Harvey pointing like, the door's that way, bitch. We got a bus down tonight. Shit, Quincy probably banged every all five of them in the back. Like, this my bitch. Come to find out Diddy done snatched up this young man's girl. He was macking on her with a do-rag on. That's how you know he dirty. He had a tie-dye Versace shirt with a do-rag on, macking on a teenager. Nigga done sweated out the do-rag, done blew her back out allegedly. This big buff nigga had to get her after Diddy had her, man. Now he got Lori Harvey out here all buff. Umps in the pump, banging that ass, listening to Hammer. Y'all need to see this, man. He taught her some tips. Now her ass in the gym. Look how buff Lori Harvey got. She look like Arnold Swatch a nigga. Being with Michael B. Joy, and now she got bigger biceps than any man in the NBA, man. She got an eight pack. Looking like Angela Bassett. She don't got on that Michael B. Joy and workout clan. Hold on, God damn. Oh my goodness. Man, somebody need to hit her cash app or give her some money or something. Pay the bitch. Man, somebody, yo, dollar sign Lori Harvey, man. 
Somebody hit her cash app, yo. Shit, Diddy wish she would have. She shit. If it wasn't for Diddy, she would have had them titties. Oh my goodness. She went from being a hood rat. Now she a gym rat. And. Come on, man. He probably a big, big weirdo, too. Whenever you see a brother with a big mustache like that, he got perverted shit going on in his life, man. Why is his mustache so big? They say his father wanted the twins from the whispers. I don't know if that's true or not. It's either that or Steve Harvey is his father and there's some incest going on. Cause he looked like a younger version of Steve Harvey. They both live with Lori and both of them been with Diddy. Why she get a dude that look just like her father? Let me find out she had a thing for Steve Kirby, a Steve Harvey. Got the same eyebrows, same invisible hairline. She even got their hairline. She just put the baby hairs over her shit. That's her brother. One of Steve Harvey illegitimate children. But that's Negro here, no dad, man. I want to take this time to really, really thank y'all for being here with me. And like I said, this dude put a sour taste in everybody's mouth. Because you figure if Diddy got a male escort, he'll be built up zesty licking his lips like LL. But he got some big fat dude that need to be working at a gas station somewhere. Banging on Cassie. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, yo. Y'all need to get it together when y'all call up here, man. I don't know what's going on, man. But real talk. I want y'all to enjoy y'all weekend. Christmas right around the corner. And this type of shit got me out of the Christmas spirit, man. This ain't no holiday shit. And it got you wondering, do people even deserve the presents nowadays? Who you know that really deserve a present? Because I don't know nobody. Do y'all? Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? What's going on, my guy? Oh, what's going on, bro? Who this be? Man, hey, I'm watching your channel, man. Hey, about Diddy, man. It's crazy, right? Man, it's all the way crazy. How you feel about this, bro? Man, listen, this dude being a weirdo, man. He's just a rich guy with money that can get away with murder. Just like he didn't kill all his artists and everybody else. A rich dude with money that can get away with murder, but he can't get away with these accusations being made by Cassie because they don't already cancel him for jumping out the window talking about racial discrimination like they ain't give him a job. Right, man, they all tied to each other, man. They been to what's been going on. Jay Z, he up next. Man, Jay Z ain't nothing gonna happen to Jay Z. I'm tired of people saying I could understand why you would say that, but like I said, Jay Z is a married man. In order to get to him, you gotta go through Beyonce. And if Beyonce ain't making no allegations, you ain't gonna get Jay Z. Yeah, he he smooth though. Plus Jay Z smooth. He he ain't all out with it like Diddy. Yo, he real smooth, man. He's smart. When you get to a certain age, your ass need to be married. And that's anybody in society. Let you get old and not be married and see how people treat you, man. People feel like they can't trust you. Your value, your stock going to drop. People, in, Your life going to be a living hell if you get old and you're not married. That's a fact. That's a fact. And, and the, the weird dude that's in jail or in the nut house or whatever, them be the weirdest ones, man. Them be the freaks. And you got to figure all them soul ties, them people he been having sex with, them spirits be lingering. So he's so off and so crazy and so deranged because all of the people he been banging. Absolutely. Man, I'm telling you, I'm spiritual myself. So what you said made a whole lot of sense, my brother. For real, for real. Yo. The soul ties, man, go a long way. No doubt. Yo, let me tell y'all a story real quick about this club. In Atlanta, I think it's called um 
I, don't, I forgot what it's called. It's a swingers club or whatever. People go up in there and they really be going down. So to make a long story short, it was a dude that started going to the swingers club. And, you know, they all up in there getting it in or whatever. He noticed that he started getting depressed. He was a married man. His wife ain't know about it. He would come home, be depressed, be all sad and shit. And eventually, God rest his soul, he took his life because them demons was getting to him all them partners it took a toll on him he wasn't himself he having emotions he ain't never had before feelings he ain't never had before all that is just by them soul ties with them weirdos and them freaks at that club man that's crazy man that's crazy and then when you spoke about usher man i think diddy gave usher that man just never know man it's a possibility they all in the bed together yo Right, like you said, Usher been around that dude since childhood, man. Yup. He didn't even have an opportunity just to be out in the street fucking these strays to get that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, man, that's the realest thing I heard all night, man. Usher was just a child when he was with yeah. Diddy. Yeah. He wasn't out here with these strays. He wasn't Everything out there. he was consuming was coming from Diddy and Cassie. And whoever else. Yo, man. And people don't know how to use condoms, man. Ain't nobody using no condom. That's so real. Ain't nobody using them. Remember, a lot of people don't remember, but Kanye West had a display. He paid $4 million to have sculptures of everybody in Hollywood in the bed together. And people was coming to see the display. It had Diddy in the bed laying next to Cassie. It had Donald Trump in the bed laying next to Bill Cosby. He had every celebrity in a big bed together. And people like, what is that all about? But in the industry, they all in bed with each other. If you slept with one of them, you slept with all of them. I got one better for you, my GC. Everything coming alive. You remember my, uh, my home alone? Uh, uh, lost in New York. Mm -hmm. So uh, Macaulay Culkin, he was gay coming up. Guess who was in uh, uh, in the uh, movie? Donald Trump. What? Oh my goodness. He was in the movie. When he was going in the hotel room, Donald Trump looked back at him. It made it jump like a jackrabbit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I ain't know that part, man. Macaulay Cogan was in the hotel with Trump on the Home Alone. Yeah, Home Alone when uh lost in New York. When he was when he was lost in New York and he was checking in that hotel. Yeah, I guess he had went to the Trump Towers and Trump looked back at him like he didn't got a hope to him. And he pointed to his hotel suite and let the little kid go to his room for the night. Man, watch Home Alone Lost in New York. You will see Donald Trump, my man. For real, for real. Man, it's crazy, man. But see, in this in this generation, as far as what they got going on in this society, man, they all tied in together, man. You got to be weird to have money. Got to be weird to have money. And I think the reason why you got to be weird to have money is to keep the regular people at bay, man. Yeah, and that's exactly what's going on, man. You just said a mouthful right there. It's like everything in this world is the complete opposite. So true, bro. It's that everything is ass backwards, yo. And it's just going to keep on getting more ass. People getting punished for coming up in the era that they come up in. Y'all know the Diddy era, freaking off and doing all that shit at the park, having all them parties and wilding and doing all. That's his era, man. People were celebrating him when it was cool. But now this type of stuff ain't cool no more. I'm like, what's going to be the cool thing to do for celebrities nowadays if they ain't freaking mm -hmm. off? Like you say, man, when you get exposed, man, it's like it's like you get the most respect off clout nowadays. So everybody using everything. Now, we can't say that white guy is lying. You know what I'm saying? But we can't say he's telling the truth. It's just that clout chasing get, get you a long ways in life. It do, man. It gets you a long way. And he wasn't even expecting to go viral. He was getting interrogated and somebody released the footage on Tasha K shit. She might get sued again just by putting this footage out there because this is confidential information right here. Yeah, she reckless. She very reckless. She don't even care, man. She got to do what she got to do to get a bag out this bitch. And I, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, when you slender somebody's name, 
But you give them false accusations, you know what I'm talking about. Uh But it will come back on you. You know what I'm saying? It will. It will come back on you. But what you do in the dark, my man, comes to the light. But this shit been in the light for so long. I'm surprised that people acting like it was in the dark. I know, man. These people been knowing, man. Now, all of a sudden, when everything hits the fan, now everybody want to speak up. But see, that's how people do. Yeah, man. That's it. I guess that's just human nature, man. People looking for a lynching online and they providing us one with Diddy. If it wasn't him, it'd be somebody else. And once they done with Diddy, they're going to be looking for another fish to fry. Man, you right. Absolutely, man. And I, I just hate, man. Because Diddy is a talented brother at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. I mean, he did beautiful music, man. You know what I'm saying? He gifted. But at the end of the day, you got to learn how to separate your personal life from your business life, man. But when your business life is all about the freak offs, all about the champagne, the bottles, the women, the cars, the jewelry, and you got to keep that lifestyle going in order to stay relevant. Shit, it's sort of like that's what he got paid to do is to be a freak. Right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Basically, that's because it, it makes sense because he's been getting away with it from so long, bro. Yeah, from the point, it, it seemed like it's his job title, right? <laughs> they needed brothers like that to create the narrative so other brothers could follow suit. And that's why you got so many men out here making dumbass decisions because they trying to live that lifestyle. How come you think it's dudes out here with multiple baby mamas? Diddy ain't the only one freaking off. You got everyday people out here working nine to fives. A lot of dudes ain't even got. I know a nigga ain't never work a day in his life. Got four baby mamas out here freaking off. See what I'm saying? But see, we don't, people, us as a people don't know what condoms is. You know what I'm saying? We make every excuse not to use a condom. Oh, the feeling ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? It don't feel right. It's always something to make an excuse not to wear a condom just to risk getting a woman pregnant or catching a sexual transmitted disease. Cold blooded business, man. But what is a man to do? Stay to yourself and not have relationships. Don't do nothing. Don't go nowhere. Don't talk to nobody. Because everybody insane in 2023, you could barely come across the same person. And the main people talking about how sane they are, the harder you listen to them, the more you realize that they all messed up. Oh, my goodness. Man, they all messed up. And you know what I'm saying? Like, in that era, like how we was brought up. See, I'm 39. Mm -hmm. So as we was brought up, we was brought up with respect. You know what I'm saying? They be taught with respect. We got our ass whooped. But it seemed like when we got older, all the things that we learned, we don't use. Don't use it, man. It's like it went in one ear and now the other. And, you know, it's easy to do, especially when you tie it into the social media, man. And I don't hate social media, but it's getting to the point to where the computers is way more intelligent than the people that's using them. Man, oh, man, I'm trying to tell you, man, people use the homework, using their phones for homework. (laughs) <laughs> and still be failing in school. Yeah, be de- like when we was in school, man. We would have fun, and we'll be successful too. Straight A's, straight A's. You know what I'm saying? Just so happy in this era. That's when the smartphones came about. But like you say, the phones are smarter than the humans, bro. And it's just going to get worse, man. So the next time you try to have an in-debt conversation with somebody, you got to realize that a lot of times people have been programmed to beyond belief. Yes, man. We've been programmed for a long time, man. We've been programmed for real, for real. Like, it's crazy, man. Like, we, we human robots. Human robots stuck on stupid. We GTA characters. Yo, you hit the nail on the head. It's a bunch of GTA simulation people out here walking and talking and living what? and doing shit just to get a bag. Just like GTA. And that's why GTA is the most selling video game. Because everybody can relate to it because they in a video game. You call up here talking about Home Alone. I'll let you slide on that. Then you said something about the Pokemon cards. I'll let that slide. Now you talking about video games, GTA and all. I appreciate your conversation, but before you know it, you're going to be talking about Roblox and Legos and stuff like that. Oh, no. <laughs> and we appreciate you. Everything you said was nothing but facts, but you lost me with that GTA, man, because I'm trying to get off my video game addiction and do better, but you got me thinking about hopping on there and playing some Mortal Kombat, man. We appreciate <laughs> 
appreciate you to death, bro. No doubt. And we don't want you to be no stranger. The next time we go live, you definitely got to call back, man. So much love for you. Happy holidays and enjoy your weekend, my brother. Real talk. I'll add you later. No doubt. No doubt. Diddy, you didn't have to be this way, bro. You didn't have to be a freak. He figured he was doing everybody a favor and keeping the tradition going because the tradition been going on for a long time. Diddy ain't the first and he won't be the last, man. Rick James been singing about Cassie ever since the 70s, man. She a super freak. The type you don't take home to my mind. This bitch look like Cassie in the background. You like, this ain't my award. Y'all gonna give me another motherfucker's award. You like all these bitches hoes. Oh my goodness. I got 99 problems and the bitch ain't one. I think he started that. It been a lot of freaky shit going on before Diddy. Y'all thought Diddy was zesty? Because he wore a wig and he was sashaying all over the club. He ain't the only one. Look at this, y'all. Nigga, I got my wig on. Freezing. Freezing. Oh, oh, I was like, this ain't no goddamn wig. This is my motherfucking natural. I don't need that. Nigga, I got my He said, nigga, I got my wig on and started licking his lips. Nigga, I got my wig on. Look at this, y'all. Hold on. Let's go ahead and play that. Nigga, it's just late night. Nigga, I got my wig on. Freezing. Freezing. Oh. This ain't no... Oh, I was like, this ain't no goddamn wig. This is my motherfucking natural. I don't need to be ashamed of what the fuck. That's my man got the lace front on y'all and this tied down tight like kelly rolling or beyonce or somebody he be up all night living that zesty life man hold on y'all i bring it to toronto and atlanta Coming to Yo, look at my man leggings, y'all. Y'all see that shit? My man got on the flowery leggings with a wig on and a blouse. He walk around the house with some tight, your grandmama tight tights on. And homie just on the phone. Loving every minute of this. I can't do this no more, man. Let me give y'all a shout out and I gotta get out of here, man. I'm all diddied out. I'm no longer a fan. I held on for as long as I could. 12. I see you over there, my love. Where QS at? Thighs, lies is in the building. No doubt. Troy Black Polo. What it do, man? Um, Blue Marvel. Uh, Naga Kushite. Nisi Q. Last Dab. SMH Jordan. Aguaya Nina, Philip Bowie, and everybody else watching the video, man. So much love for y'all. Funk nostalgia in the building. Worried up. And for all the people watching and all the people that hit that like button, I appreciate y'all as well. And just in case you didn't, I will really, really appreciate it if you hit the like button, hit the notification button. That way you will know the next time I go live so we can all enjoy each other's company next time which will most likely be on sunday and then tuesday so make sure y'all stay tuned and for all the people that hit that cash app let me show y'all some love man because y'all the real mvps as well man y'all been showing me so much love i'm about to get that love right back to y'all i'm talking about Derek rochelle doing so well hit that cash app for me so much love for you brother grace hit the cash app with humble waters sammy demetrius bright Brittany Goodrich hit the cash app as well. Did I mention Grace and Monice Thompson? Humble Waters, Ms. Ness, Deja, Baba Ranson, Lauren Gammon, and Minnie Ripperton, man. Hit that cash app for me. 
I got so much, so much love for y'all. And I'ma holla at y'all on the next video, man. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe.